now looking at the 15th congressional district, which covers the South Bronx. That's where a well-known councilman is running against a Republican who's trying to beat the odds. CBS 2's Andrea Klein-Thomas live in Morris Heights now. Andrea. Well, I talked to a number of voted, voters who said they voted with COVID on their minds. This community has been disproportionately impacted. And while the presidential election has motivated a lot more people to come out, voters here in the South Bronx could also make history in Congress. With each vote, residents of the South Bronx are hoping to get the help they need. Congress, I think they should pass uh, more laws that uh, help us in terms of taxes, laws that can help us in terms of prison reform. How to provide for child care. They can feel like they don't have to struggle so much in order to make ends meet. This community has been disproportionately impacted by the pandemic. Concerns Patrick DeLises and Councilman Richie Torres are vying to address in Congress. The homeless issue in the Bronx is on the rise. Drug addiction is on the rise. The unemployment rate in the South Bronx could be as high as 25 percent, which is comparable to the joblessness of the Great Depression. The 15th congressional district has been a Democratic stronghold for decades. Delisis is running as a conservative and has never held public office. I'm a rational Republican and I'm a compassionate conservative. I am a Republican in the tradition of Frederick Douglass. Meantime, Torres, who served on city council for seven years, beat one dozen Democratic challengers to win the primary, touting policies like expanding housing vouchers and child tax credits. My focus is make housing more affordable, put people back to work, and put income in the, fa in the pockets of the families who need it. The South Bronx, as you know, is the home of hip hop. Hip hop has a lot of prominent celebrities. Getting these celebrities involved, bringing them back home like J-Lo. Delises is battling to get name recognition, while Torres continues to try to break new ground, first as the youngest member of city council, and now vying to become the first Afro-Latino openly gay member of Congress. Now, Jose Serrano currently represents this district. Councilman Richie Torres is favored to win, but whoever wins this district, in addition to COVID's impact, it's one of the lowest income districts in the entire country. Residents I talk to say whoever represents them will have a lot of work to do. Reporting live from the Morris Heights section of the Bronx, Andrea Klein-Thomas, CBS 2 News. Andrea, thank you. Coming up.